Tone coming at you from Big Tone Productions Beats and Feasts. You know what time it is. It's time for another cooking video. Today, we're going to do something I had never worked with on this channel. We're going to use ground turkey and we're going to do a turkey chili in the power pressure cooker. It's a one pot easy meal and a little bit more healthy because we're using the ground turkey. So, hey guys, sit back and relax. Enjoy the video. And if you like it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video. Let's get started with some turkey chili. All right, so the supporting cast is as followed. The main star of the show is some ground turkey. I went ahead and got three pounds. I'm going to go ahead and use it all because I don't, I don't have another vehicle for this. So, so there are three pounds is what we're going to make. Typically, I make two pounds. Of, of protein but today is going to be three pounds um, so for the vegetables I'm going to be using I got a yellow and an orange bell pepper you can use whatever color you like I got one onion cut up got some scallions and I got one jalapeno here cut up for a little bit of a, a little bit of spiciness um, we're gonna put in I suggest using these I love these tomatoes diced tomatoes with green chilies these are Rotel these are the mild ones. I love them. Um, that are the honey are the roasted um, diced tomatoes. Those are great. And then some tomato sauce. And then for my beans, I'm using some kidney beans, some chili beans in the sauce, and some black beans. Spices. Turkey is one of these proteins it doesn't have a lot of flavor so you have to make it taste like what you want um, so for spices some ground paprika some oregano some chili powder of course some ground cumin salt and pepper to taste pink Himalayan salt you know how I get down some garlic powder and we're gonna add a little bit of chicken broth that's pretty much all the ingredients um, so let's get started with it. Let's put it together. We're over here at the pressure cooker. First thing we're gonna do is sear off our vegetables a little bit. So we're gonna add, first off, my onions. And I have my pressure cooker on sear mode. So just to sweat these vegetables off just a tad. I'm adding one of my bell peppers. Well, I'm adding both, but one at a time. My yellow goes in. My jalapeno pepper. I took the seeds and the ribs out of that. I didn't want it too hot. I just wanted to add that jalapeno flavor. And I put about half of my scallions in there. The rest I'm gonna save for some garnish. All right, and so to cook these in, I put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in there. I didn't tell you that in the supporting cast, but that's what I'm cooking them in. So you see all my peppers there. We're gonna cook, we're gonna cook these down a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to them. Like I said, you gotta build flavor in layers. So I like to season my vegetables as well. A little bit of pepper. And it doesn't matter as much with the pressure cooker because it's all going to the same thing. And a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. Alright, so we're going to give that a little bit of time to sweat these vegetables down and get them a little, uh, little softer. Then we're going to come back in with a ground turkey. I'll be back in a second. Alright, so the vegetables are sweated down nicely. I'm going to go ahead and add my ground turkey here. Like I said, that's three pounds. I don't do any turkey burgers or anything like that yet. I may start, but um, I'm doing the three pounds of, of turkey. I don't want to have any leftovers. I don't have much use for it after that. Like I said, yet. I may start doing that though. But we're going to sear this off as well. It's going to take a few minutes to sear this and get it brown. Then we'll come back in with our seasonings. It's time to season up the turkey. So as I stated earlier, um, turkey is one of the most unflavorful proteins you're going to work with. Um, so you have to make it taste like what you want. The seasoning is the most important part. Now if you, as you can see the turkey has produced a little bit of liquid. 
it doesn't have much fat in it so I'm gonna keep that liquid in there now if you had ground beef you would drain this off but the turkey doesn't have much fat in it so it's pretty lean pretty unflavorful so we got to make it taste right so the seasonings I'm gonna be a little bit aggressive with um, just because I'm trying to add flavor so first thing I put in is paprika put it in about eh, about two two and a half tablespoons of paprika oregano leaf oregano about two two and a half maybe three tablespoons of leaf oregano chili powder same thing two and a half to three tablespoons of chili powder and the cumin about two tablespoons of that and remember you're doing I'm doing three pounds of ground turkey so you got to be aggressive with the seasoning here all right and then we're going to throw in some garlic powder again about two tablespoons of that we're going to go in with our salt and pepper All right, so we're gonna mix this up and we're gonna add a little bit of chicken stock to it as well. So we're gonna mix this up real good here. So this is where your flavor is coming from. And we're gonna give it a taste here in a minute to see where the flavor level is based on the seasonings that you added. Always taste your food, especially with the ground turkey. All right, so that's mixed up nice. Let's see what we need to add right off the bat. I can tell you I need more chili powder, a little bit more of everything to be honest with you, it's a little bland. So I'm going to go in with my cumin, a little bit more cumin, about another teaspoon. Paprika, about another tablespoon. My leaf oregano. About another tablespoon. I told you with the ground turkey, you got to be aggressive with the seasoning. Garlic powder, about another tablespoon. And a little bit more chili powder. All right, so we're going to mix this up here a little bit. Where we're gonna be adding liquids to this so you know that, that seasoning has to be on point because that liquid's gonna dilute some of the seasoning in it. So look at that turkey. You can't tell if it's turkey or ground beef now, just by the look. So I'm gonna take a little taste. A little bit of black pepper and a pinch of salt. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna add my tomato-based products, my diced tomatoes. And I'm gonna add my chicken stock. I'm gonna start with about a cup, maybe a cup and a half chicken stock. Mix it up, see what the consistency is like. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. No, I don't have that Corona. All right, so we're gonna mix this up in here. See where we're at with flavor. Wash off my testing spoon here. Being 100% honest with you, it's almost there. I'm gonna add a little bit more chili powder to it. And 
And I think I'm going to add one more can of diced tomatoes to it as well. So based on the three pounds of um, ground turkey that I'm using, that's why I'm using the three cans. It just wasn't enough for the two cans. Or the two cans wasn't enough for the three pounds, I should say. All right, we're going to add our beans to this, and we're going to add a little bit more chicken stock. Chicken stock, about another cup. Going with my kidney beans. In this household, we like a lot of beans. Going with my hot chili beans in sauce with the sauce. And we're going to go in with our black beans in the sauce, with the sauce. Going to mix that up real good. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, coming along, coming along. Look at the color on that. Ooh, Lord. I'm going to give it a tad bit another taste here. Make sure I don't get any of the beans here. Needs a kick to it. Needs some kind of kick to it. So, what I'm going to do, add a little bit more cumin, and I'm going to add just a little bit more, and I'm going to add a little hot sauce to it, which I didn't tell you about. But it needs some kind of kick. Here's my cumin. For the hot sauce, I'm using Slap Your Mama hot sauce. It needs a little kick to it. Probably about a tablespoon of this. Well, all I have, because I just ran out. I gotta get some more of this. This is not, that's no joke. Can't run out of hot, a Slap Your Mama. Seasoning or the hot sauce. Alright guys, so we're going to, basically, I'm going to put the lid on this and we're going to cook it for about 5 to 10 minutes. And the chili's done. All right, so we're putting the lid on. Going to lock it down. You've seen my other videos, I'm sure. If you haven't, just line the, two, the arrow and the line up on this pressure cooker. On your pressure cooker, you have it the way that they lock it down. Right, so we're going to do one button, very simple, on this pressure cooker. We're going to use a soup stew button. Real simple, we're just going to hit the soup stew, it's going to default to 10 minutes, and it's going to start. I'm going to let it cook for between 7 and 10 minutes, probably go to my 10 minute mark, I want to make sure all the, all the everything is incorporated. It doesn't take very long, it does take about 5 minutes to, to um, build up pressure though. So I'll see you guys in, in a few minutes. Right, so it's been this full 10 minutes, I did pressure release on the valve. And so here we go. Here's the finished product. Look at that. Oh my God. Smells so good. Smells so good. I wish I had smell of vision. But I'm going to plate this up for you. And you know I'm waiting for that bite. Homemade turkey chili. It smells so good, guys. It smells so good. Like I said, the key to turkey chili or turkey anything is the seasonings. You have to be aggressive. Turkey has no flavor, really. So you got to be aggressive with it. So don't be afraid to season your food, guys. But you know what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that bite. Homemade turkey chili. Hey, guys, if you're used to ground beef, I say give this a try, guys. I'm used to ground beef, too. But, hey, this is a great alternative. So, hey, let me, let me get into this. I ain't got much to say. Get a little bit of everything. A little hot. Oh man, I got it going for bite number two. Man, that is good. Mm, mm, mm. Man, don't sleep on the turkey. Turkey chili, the key is to flavor your chili with the seasonings that you use. You can't even tell us it's turkey. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video, and hey, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace.